Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Brickerton. I'm Ryan and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a scene looking from this to this. Right, so today um, I'm going to be using my scenery tips to show you how I do something. So um, we're going to get into it. So the first step on what to do is um, actually spread PVA glue all over the hill um, so I'll do that off screen I just use Hobbycraft craft glue I think it is what it's called craft PVA glue it's about eight pound for a big two litre tub so it's all right so as railway modelers um, like like me um, like like yourselves um, you'll find that you change your scenery techniques you change them all the blinking time right which I, I do and I mean it probably doesn't help that I'm only young but I, I am always changing because I'm always improving so recently I just I came into static grass which makes it look a lot better uh, this mountain here to the side which I'm possibly going to remodel because it looks too big now now I've become you know more of a well try to be more of a railway modeler so you change your scenery like as you can see there I use knock scenery for all that but it began to become a bit expensive so I moved on to woodland scenics which is about as expensive anyway what I'm going to use first is green blend T49 blended turf from woodland scenics seven pound packet it's gone up actually in Dagfields, 15p wasn't too happy I was going to buy some today and you put a nice thick I just use Oxford die cast tubs and I just like to put a nice thick layer on don't forget you can hoover it up and reuse afterwards Ooh, that was a bit too thick though when I say thick I don't mean blinking like, 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 like that it does come out in a drip <laughs> It, oh, 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 that was a bit. Can you still see? I don't know whether you can still see. Um, so, yeah, I put it on nice and thick. And I do just let it sit for a couple of minutes and then I hoover it off. So there you go, it's got your grass up. Oh, you'll see it start soaking through again. And all you got to do is just put some more over it. Um, so let that soak in for a second and see if there's any more wetter spots than other spots. And then I put a little bit more over it. I've actually got quite a bit of this blended stuff, so it doesn't bother me too much putting too much, like, like loads on. So we now have a dry surface to work on, um, a pot of glue <laughs> and also all of our scenery items around us. So I'm going to start off with putting the, what do you call it, uh, the patches with, well I'm just going to glue random places. and leaving space for static grass because the places where I'm putting the coarse light green turf is where possibly the trees are going to be because uh, it just looks a little bit bearer and grass doesn't obviously grow to its full potential underneath um, underneath trees it doesn't grow at all sometimes or not as, you know what I mean um, you know, Farmer Ryan coming into into his words here. So, we're just leaving various places for 
the static grass. I don't like putting too much static grass in places. It's, it's alright, but like, I just don't get the point in having loads of it. For one, I don't have a lot of it. <laughs> and for two, I like using bushes on more abandoned areas and stuff like that. I got my fine turf which is a T44 focus 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 T44 by obviously again wooden scenics I just tip it in my hand go like that and just let it, let it spill and then I get the coarse turf go around the edges of the burnt grass This is the type of scenery that scenery that I'd go for around like how this area would be left or is left anyway. There we go. And then what I do, just to flatten it down just a touch, I get my finger and just go like that. that Right, now we've got the static grass applicator which I'm actually using at the moment, the model tree shop. Static grass applicator with the model tree shop static grass in. Uh, let me just check the level of it. Just make sure I've got enough to do it. Oh, plenty. Plenty in there. So, as you know, static grass. Oh, that was trust me trust me that was a big stretch it's about two foot I think two two and a half foot to get right over there yeah it's a big stretch anyway now you get the uber and I'm not going to do this on video because of the noise it produces. It produces a lot of noise and I don't want you to uh, have bad ears. So see you in a second. So here is the actual whole mountain base layer finished. <laughs> 